Hi, this is Lewis Giannis with WealthNet Investments. Today, I'm going to be talking about how COVID-19 is impacting our economy and in particularly what we need to be doing if you're a younger person, if you have a job, if you're in your 30s or maybe in your 40s and maybe you have a 401k, you have started to save, you have a pretty good income, but you're just not quite sure what to do. And so um, one of the things I wanted to mention is when I was younger, I remember when I first moved to Colorado, my father-in-law was a real estate agent. And what he told me was, you needed to go look at some of these condos that were up on a hill in, Bre in the Breckenridge area, or actually it was the Frisco area. And uh, he said, you really should take a look at buying one of those because the economy is not doing well, well right now, and they're really a bargain price. And this was in 1990 or so when uh, Saddam Hussein was uh, causing a ruckus, and there was all sorts of things going on. We were at war. And I was so afraid at that time because I didn't really... Uh, you know, my, I wasn't sure how things were going to turn out and it, we we're in the middle of, of, a, of a recession. So I didn't buy it. It turns out that I wish I would have bought it because at that time I could have bought it for a bargain and it has more than gone up five times, five fold since then. And uh, it would have been an amazing investment. We could have lived in it. And the main point of that is that it was a good time to invest, but yet I was fearful. We are actually in the same kind of a situation right now. It's a great time to invest, but people are fearful. So I want to talk a little bit about some of the things that we know. Let's talk a little bit about how, uh, you know, saving sooner is better than saving later. Because one of the things that, you know, you can tell with time value of money is you could put a, a systematic amount of money away over and over again sooner and have way more money than if you waited and put the same amount of money later. And that's because of the power of compounding. The power of compounding is very, very important. So for younger investors, especially now that the market is in a situation that it is now, uh, it's a really good time to be prepared. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about what being prepared means. I don't mean just plowing into the market. I'm talking about scaling into the market, and I'll talk a little bit more about that. So saving sooner rather than later is really, really important for those of you who are in that situation. So let's talk a little bit more about the history of pandemics, a pandemic like what we have right now, probably one of the most brutal ones um, in the last uh, for quite a while would be, uh, you know, the, the Spanish flu, right? I mean, the Spanish flu was very, very uh, bad. And so what's different about the Spanish flu era and now? Well, we have much better technology. We have much better resources. We have much better, uh, a much better medical system. So... Uh, but what we do know about pandemics is that is, is they are short-lived. They don't, they don't last forever. They tend to have a peak point and then they, they taper off. So if you're a younger person during this period of time, the way to be thinking about this is, is yes, this is really bad and I need to protect myself, but I also want to be prepared for when the bottom occurs. And the bottoms don't occur in, in the equity markets, in the stock markets, just very quickly. They generally don't have a V bottom where they go down and come straight back up. There's a lot of uh, uh, like false starts. And the best thing to do is to scale in. And during that period of time, when you have a, a decline, one of the best things to do is to focus on growing companies, companies with new products and new services that are in strong demand. They're actually game changers in their industries. And the way you can find those is by looking at the relative strength. And that's you know, looking at how is that stock doing compared to the market. One of the beautiful things about when you have a decline in the market is it exposes the best companies because they tend to hold up a lot better than the regular companies. So that's really what I mean about being prepared right now is being lo looking at those companies that are resilient in this marketplace and that have new products and new services, strong revenue growth. So what we should be doing right now is really be preparing. And let me talk a little bit about preparing. The first thing you want to do is you want to look at all your resources that you have if you're a younger investor and first say, okay, I want to get three to six months of my expenses and I want to make sure that that's in a emergency fund. So first put that money away. And then the rest of the money that's not earmarked for the emergency or some goal that you have very short term really should put that all in your investment account. And if you have the option to have a tax deferred account like a 401k, you know, do that. Otherwise, if you have if you're younger, really take a look at the Roth, the 401k Roths, because those allow you to have tax free growth. And um, if you're younger, that could really benefit you, especially if tax rates increase in the future. So take a look at your plan, 
do you do tax free or do you do tax deferred? And then the next thing to do is throw throw money in a brokerage account. Now, uh, this real video is really for people who have a good income, people who are younger, who have already started saving, have a, have a nest egg developed, but they want, really are trying to figure out what to do right now. I'm getting a lot of phone calls and discussions with people in that scenario. And that's why I'm making this video because I think it's really important because right now you have a huge opportunity to do very, very well in the future if you act correctly. So let's talk a little bit more about preparation. First, you wanna, again, do the reserve, go to tax-free, tax-deferred, and then you want to put that money and have it ready to go. That Being prepared means having the money ready to go to pull the trigger. And as time goes on, scale your way into the market. Don't go full in. And um, so if, you're, you know, if you have a manager like us, we are mostly in cash. We only have 20% of our clients' investments in stocks. The rest is in cash, bonds, gold, things like that. And we're just looking for opportunities. The opportunities are there fundamentally, but you can't just focus just on the fundamentals, meaning the revenue and all of that. You actually need to see the market recognizing that those are good investments as they start stabilizing and moving higher. So here are the key things that we're looking at for right now. We want to see the market stabilize, have some big, strong up days, and volatility to, to come down. So don't not having big moves up and down, and then have a follow through where there's more movement up. That gives you more of a green light. That gives us a green light to start deploying capital. So have that money in T-bills, have that money in money market, ready to go. Don't leave money on the sidelines and then put it in because here's what happens. I've seen this happen over and over again. People do that and then they're not prepared and then they rush. And by the time they're rushing, they're gonna miss out on having a great, opportunity. So be prepared, put your emergency fund together, look at your tax deferred, tax free options, put as much as you can in your brokerage account. If you need help with any of that stuff, let us know. That's all I have my message for today. I'm Lewis Giannis with Wealthnet Investments signing off. Have a great day.